Look at my boys and girls, it's more Rick Lee from Rick Lee Reason and Everything. And today we're gonna go charity shopping. Oh, Kieran, I don't know how you do that every time. It knocks my chest out. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go charity shopping today, or thrifting, or sourcing, whatever you want to call it. Gonna see what stuff I can find, bring it back, spread it out, and show it off to you. But bye. Right, we're at the first stop. It is 9:45. I'm gonna to go to St. Michael's Hospice and see what we can find in there. It's generally quite an expensive shop, but I need to go to co-op first and get some cash. I know you can't see where I'm pointing to, but co-op's there. St. Michael's there. I'm fuming. I'm absolutely. I've, I've, I've really did. I really got up this morning with a nice start to the day, bouncing my step. Um, even though my crypto accounts was down, I had a nice bounce in my step. But I am absolutely livid, livid. I've just seen some things in a. Honestly, this community can be fantastic. It can be loving. It can be open armed. It can be helpful. It can be a beautiful, beauty, beautiful thing. But what I've seen this morning is absolutely disgusting. And some of the names I've seen acting up and doing it, you should know better and you should be better. I've, 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 I need to calm down because I am absolutely fuming. It is not acceptable. I'm, uh, I'm going to calm down. Let me just, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go find some stuff. Right, okay, got a couple of bits out of there. I'm not going to show you now, otherwise when I do the haul later, it's going to be boring, isn't it? So, I um, only picked up a couple of bits. These aren't the first bits I picked up this week. I did pop to a charity shop on Tuesday and picked up my first item for the waffle. But again, you have to wait to the waffle to find that out. I'm hoping that I can find the... Oh, right, I may have just found the year you was born thing. I think that was, I think that was it. Anyway, I'm not too sure. I'm gonna to go to another charity shop now. I've got about eight to do today, so I'll I'll see you shortly. <laughs> Let's go see what we can find in here. I always do well out of here, to be fair. Let's go and find out. Now I was gonna pick this one up, but ugh, it's a V-neck. I'm having a little rummage around, nothing too special. I've left my GoPro at home, which is a stupid of me, but I won't make it a habit. I think these videos are rubbish without the hunt, but it is what it is for now. Didn't really find too much. A couple of little pieces, uh, I'll show you later. Now, normally, this here would be an instant cop, but for £9, it was missing the cup um, and the hook inside. <laughs> Comps are looking around about £40 pre-owned. So for nine pound into forty, and post is going to be ridiculous on that. It just wasn't worth it. It was a five. If it was fiver and it had the cups, or if I had the cups now, I probably would have got it for a tenner. But I left it. So we have got some kicks here. Um, got this really sort of tough. You'll see later on again, but some sort of tough exterior. They are safety boots. Again, just going with experience. I didn't bother looking these up. They're a three quid. They looked okay. I tested them out by bending the soles. Picked them up. Right, Ugh, I'm not getting too much today, but that's enough. I normally do really well in that shop. By really well, I mean I have a spend up. I spend quite a lot of money in there. Um, I normally get quantity as well as quantity, but like my hair, oh my God. Anyway, I am going to move on to the next one. Are you waiting to go in? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You're full, are you? Today's a little bit dry, but it's okay, we're picking up stuff, so that's good. So, on to the next one. Shop five, maybe? So, I have done about six more shops since I've last checked in. I forgot, I've just been smashing it, really. I do that quite a lot. It's supposed to make videos, I just get too dug into it. I'm going to go back home now. It takes about 20 minutes to get there. There is one shop open when I get there, so I'm going to pop in there. I was in there yesterday, and the day before, and the day before, but pop in there. So what we can find. Red Bull keep me going, because I am... Well, I'm home. There's not much to show. 
I'll do a whole part in a minute. Wow, welcome back to the garage. Um, picked up some cool pieces today. Nothing too spectacular. Some nice ROI items, some very different and unusual pieces, and some everyday bread and butter stuff. As usual, I will pick them off the shelf and tell you exactly what I paid for them and what I'm expecting or hoping to get back. The pricing is done on experience and or research, and some of it is guesswork. So feel free to do your own due diligence and get the prices yourself out there. I'm here to help, not to mislead. This community is fantastic for help. You can put yourself out there, you can ask questions and it will get answered nine times out of ten in a nice way. Um, or at least if somebody can't answer, they'll put you in the right direction. People, I've witnessed people sending people stock. I've witnessed people giving leads, um, just general advice and you know people picking each other up, pep talks and positivity. I've witnessed that tenfold. But I've also witnessed negativity and snidiness and bitterness and downtreading people and just, just bullying and disgusting behaviour. And I witnessed some of that this morning. That being said, let's get into the positivity. Let's spread some love. Let's show some help. Let's see if we can get some people picking up some items today that can make them some money. So first things first, in no particular order, I am going to go through probably the stoneware and the glassware first because for my viewers, it's probably the most boring for them. But I'm really starting to enjoy it. It's, it's cool and it's different. And it spices up my reselling habits and makes my store quite diverse. So... Uh, First things first, I don't know what I paid for this because I can't remember. She didn't even, there wasn't a price on it. I just picked it up and had to get it. We've got this beef dripping pot. Now, what was in it is quite obviously beef dripping, which is foul. Um, is that England C2E? Need to work out who that maker is. Um, but it's not worth a lot. Probably six to ten pound if that picked it up on, on gut more than anything. Um, yeah. Then we have this Welsh Beaker Company cup with the Welsh dragon on it. And Yodrak Gok, I can't do the Welsh. Is it Ian, the master of peace says. In fact, Ian, if you like this, message me, I'll send you it. Um, you probably got about a thousand your way, but um, happy to send you that, mate, if you want it. Other than that, it's worth about a tenner plus postage, so maybe 14 quid all in. I think it's lovely. It's in lovely condition, lovely vintage piece. I would have that myself, to be fair. Um, I'm not that patriotic regarding England, I must admit. Um, have family in Wales, and I've got more of an uh, an affinity with Wales than I do with England. So if that had the English flag on it, I'd I'd, I'd probably wouldn't have been picked up. To be fair. <laughs> uh, next up is some very nice, as always. Uh, my little fetish I've got at the moment is paperweights. Not fetish. I'm not going to like lick them or anything. Um, this one I'm not too sure. I picked it up because it had a little starfish and what looks like. Uh, whale in there maybe no makers marks it is sanded but not polished on the bottom they, these, these these all mean things I promise uh, Debs if you're watching uh, £4 paid for that one and again £4 paid for this case and this one this is the Sorcerer's Apprentice this model there we go. it's lovely it's got this like snake sort of ropeness ropey kind of I don't know some ropey people Lovely little look in there. Again, another £4 paid. Should hopefully get around about 15 to 20 back on that one. Not too sure on this one. I need to research it a bit more. Find out. See if I can find any makers on there. Could just be Chinese, which doesn't mean it's worthless at all. But it's not the kind of stuff that I'm looking for personally. Uh, then we picked up this Matchbox Chess. It is magnetic. Paid £2.25. I'm always going to pick it up. Didn't research it. Uh, two pounds twenty-five, probably into around about twelve to fifteen pound. That is just a guess. It's vintage, nineteen. <laughs> oh, uh, nineteen seventy. Oh, that's good. That's good. Sorry, I got some notifications coming through. The the crypto market has gone <laughs> smashed down to the floor the last few days. That's some bad news after bad news. Anyway. It's fast for another another conversation. 1975. Uh paid £2.25 for that. Should hopefully get around about 15 back for that. Sorry about that. My battery went again. Uh so next up we have this pair of lovely pear line glass. It's by a company called I believe Davidson. This might be. Um around about the Victorian era. 
This is they was one pounds twenty five each. Um, not too sure what I'm going to get back for them just yet. I need to double check, make sure that they're all in perfect condition. Um, guarantee the make. Ah, oh, damn, there's a chip. Of course, there's a chip as soon as I'm looking on her. Damn, it's okay though. Uh, find out exactly who the maker is. But after a quick bit of research, um, these are by a company called Davidson, possibly um, from the pair line range to do with the the rim They're like a soft creamy type rim um by the william and mary range or pair line range william and mary design either way they're one pound 25 each and i'm gonna make some profit and they look awesome how cool do they look i think they're wicked i believe they are uranium so i will get a uv light eventually and shine some lights on them and do what everyone else does just to double check but um had to pick them up they were cool they were different I was standing in line, looked around, and oh, picked them up. Next up is this handheld, vintage handheld mirror. Um, I'm not too sure on the date exactly. Maybe 60s, maybe 70s. There you go, look, there you are, and there's me. Oh, that's a weird one, isn't it? That's weird. Oh, God, that is weird. That is weird how it does that, isn't it? Let's do it again. You ready? Ma, 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 ma. Weird. Uh, pound paid for that. It's beautiful. Could be worth a pound. Could be worth 15, 20 quid. But either way, I like it. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? Oh, that was always going to get picked up. Picked up these safety boots. These are by Kofra. Not too sure. They were three pound. I've never seen them before. They've got this really sort of like rugged, tough text kind of feel on the top on the outside steel toe caps three quid i believe i'm probably going to look at around about 20 25 quid back on them fantastic they're a nice size to the back they're a size seven why do i think that was a nice size i must have been looking at something else either way they're a size seven three pound into 25 to five i think you paid 50 quid for those brand new so i'm just gonna get them why not um that was me putting something down. While we're deviating onto clothing, I might as well show you these quickly because they are here. These are Huggers. They're a denim company. Uh, Greenway, I believe, or Greenfield. They're vintage. I picked them up because they were vintage looking at least. £3.50. I've never seen them before. I really like them. Huggers. 34 regular, so they are my size, but I don't wear jeans this colour. Oh, for frick's sake. Man, look at this, look. The crotch has been stitched up before. <sighs> Moving on. I've already burst the blood vessel today. Uh, picked up this vintage pestle and mortar. I love it. It's made out of some kind of wood. I need to research the wood. I'm not too sure. It smells of like OAP perfume. OA perfume, if you will. Um, if anybody can help me with the wood. It's nice, it's got a nice shaped pestle, or is it a nice shaped mortar, or is it a nice shaped pe pestle or mortar? Either way, it was 75 pence and fantastic. It's got to be worth a tenner of someone's money, if not more. See the way it was carved through, it's got the carving marks. A lot of this stuff is stuff that I am just getting into, um, so I sound a bit like stuttery, stuttery, like I'm trying to sound like I know what I'm talking about. I don't, I haven't got a clue, but the best form of retaining knowledge is by regurgitating it so when you learn something don't just well for me if i hear something like i don't know mirrors are made of glass with a silver backing don't know if that's true or not if i hear that and then don't say it and preach it i won't retain it so um if i sound like i'm trying if i sound like i'm stuttering and trying to sound like i know what i'm talking about i promise you i haven't got a clue with all this sort of stuff like the glassware the stoneware uh pestles and mortars and paperweights not not scooby but I'm learning, okay? I'm expanding my, my, my niches. Uh, On to which. <laughs> this is by a company called Crumleys or Crumleys or Crummels. Crummels, I should imagine. Just a little little pill pot. Um, it was 30 pence, picked it up, 30p. Uh, it's nice, really nice condition. It's worth anywhere up to 10, anywhere up to 100 pound. This won't be 100 pound. So 
this company, Crummles, did a did you know the you know the snowman, the film The Snowman? They did a pill pot with all that on it. That sold for hundred pounds. They've also did the Beatrix Potter and stuff. Um, it's an enamel top. It's lovely. It's got a lovely like gold coloured hinge exterior thing. That's possibly their maker's mark. Um, I don't know if that's a. I should imagine that's a V. Not just some design. So it's going to be quite niche to sell. But thirty pence into ten to fifteen, maybe more. I was always going to take it. And it's an easy listing and an easy sell and very small. Um, very small to, to keep hold of. Picked up this electro plated nickel silver. Was that EPS or something like that? However you spell it. Um, serving tray. It's got this nice etched star on the glass. Really thick, nice glass um, and nice silver. I paid three pound for that. It's got to be worth fifteen to twenty, isn't it? Has to be, surely. There's the markings. I'll look into the hallmarks and see who it's by. Just to double check. Um, picked up some binoculars. Paid £5 for these. Annoyingly, they're probably worth about £5. Uh, these are the Prins 10x50s. Had both lens caps and the box. Otherwise, I wouldn't have picked them up. Because unless they're a real decent brand, then I won't bother. But five quid with everything there. I picked them up. Probably only about 15, 20 quid back if that it is what it is. It's not a, it's not a fail because I'm making profit. Uh, I picked this up too. Might as well show you this because you've already seen like a thing, haven't you, in the video? Uh, it's, it's just a broken arm. It's mashed up. It's bendy. It's gooey and horrendous and horrible. Two quid. I'm keeping it for slapstick purposes. Like it. It's probably going to go, I don't know, somewhere, something, somewhere. Who knows? Or I'll probably just give it to the kids. Who knows? That was two pound. <laughs> I know, but I wanted it. Um, picked up this. While we're speaking of weird, horrible, gross stuff, it's a Olivia Stone, like a reborn baby. Um, it's disgusting. It's the Ashton Drake Gallery. I had one before, but it was a monkey, an, an actual monkey. Uh, paid three quid for that, sold it for about 90 quid to Spain. Uh, it did have like a Christmas trousers, Christmas top, uh, hat and gloves. So I paid £8 for it. I knew what it was as soon as I saw it. Uh, some of them were worth loads of money, some of them were worth not much but it's all they're, all they're all worth more than eight pound but just let's just appreciate the realism in it it's i mean the hair look at look at the hair and i'm not too sure if that's supposed to represent a bruise or so, oh just touching it feels really weird because it does feel like hair probably is oh. it's not real ricky um not sure if that's supposed to represent a bruise or it was specially made for somebody who had a baby or a child that had a mark on their face so they wanted it to, to match. Or if it's just vandalism, but it doesn't. It looks like it's been professionally done. There's a few little marks on it. I don't know if it's part of some sort of domestic. Not too sure. It's got a pocket for the heartbeat. I believe you can put heartbeats in them. There's the name on the back. So you've got Olivia Stone, 2004. And ADG on the neck, which stands for Aston Drake Galleries. Eight pound, could be worth a hundred pound, could be worth eighty, could be worth two hundred pound. It's not worth two hundred pound. It hasn't got the full body. Um, I'll be aiming for probably around about a hundred pound mark, and then bring it down if I have to. But I need to do a bit more research first and try and find out what's going on with the mark. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's got a lot of mark on the head as well at the top. So I'm gonna say maybe somebody was born with a mark on their face and they've they've added it. I don't know, but I'll research it. Eight. So Ashton Drake Galleries is a fantastic doll maker to be looking out for. They make monkeys. They make like hybrids, like werewolves and stuff. So real, real with real realism. Um, Ashton Drake Galleries, look out for that. Definitely. Obviously reborn. You know about all that sort of stuff. I mean, the only feel the weight of it. It feels like a baby. It's really weird. <laughs> you are so weird. It's over your face. So that was the next pickup. Um... Last few bits is a bit, a bit of clothing, really. I'll just show you those quickly. Let me go and get them. So first off is this Tommy Hilfiger long dress. It's a size small. It's lovely. I think it's beautiful. Um, summer's coming up, so I thought I'd pick it up. It's only two pound. Two quid. 15, 20 quid back on that all day long. It's got this lovely, like, drawstring piece down the bottom. Don't know if you'd actually draw that in or not. 
um, logo on the side. But yeah, two pound. I was always going to pick that up, weren't I? Especially with summer coming up. And then I picked up the. Oh, I don't want to touch it. I mean, Fred Perry. It's a great brand, but look at the V-neck. V-neck's not my thing. Um, I'm afraid, as some people in the group in the circle may well know quite quite well. <laughs> it's a. Yeah, I paid five twenty five for this. It's a lovely colour. It's got like a nice like polka dot almost effect, but I think it's like little, little V's. I don't know if it's supposed to replicate the the reef, possibly. If you look right closely, you can see how there's a little reefs on it. In fact, I think it might be. That might help sell it. Uh, £5.25. At least 30 quid back there, isn't there? Bit of dust. It's at least 30 odd pound back there. And that's going to be quite a quick seller, I should imagine, too. Uh, it's a nice size, size medium. Yeah. Um, then this is this is really, really cool. It's not my size, I was would keep it, but I'm going to try it on anyway. This is a Apple staff. It's never been worn. You can see the creases where it's just come out of the packet. Annoyingly, I'm thinking they might have pulled out of the packet and hung it up, which is frustrating. Uh, paid £3 for that, I think. Uh, this is when they went on some sort of camp trip. Not camping, but um, I'll put some details up on the screen if I can. Probably, I'm not too sure what to get back on this. I need to double check and research. Some Apple t-shirts can go for absolute stonking money. This is not vintage. It's quite modern, actually. But it's got a really cool logo on it. I'll look into it and find out what it's worth. But for three pound or whatever I paid, I was never going to leave it behind. Then fifteen pound, we picked up this Vans denim jacket with like a cord collar. It is beige. It's a really nice jacket, to be fair. It's not my size. It's a size medium. Where I would definitely be keeping it. Um, but fifteen pound, probably going to get forty pound back. Maybe maybe push a bit higher. Again, like I say, these are just off the top of my head prices quickly. I need to research and find out. I think I'm about to get disturbed now. No, last item anyway. Uh, yeah, last item of the day. I popped into the charity shop on the way home and picked up a couple of things. What did I pick up? Well, maybe it was just this. I think it was just this. Um, Schoffel. Now, they are a very high-end country wear brand. They do lots of different stuff. Not just country wear, but loads of different stuff. This is their gilet. This is a, uh, what the, what's it called? The make the Exton or something. I think it's Exton. This is the Exton range. Paid five pound for this. Believe it or not, I'm going to be, it's so small, which is so annoying. But believe it or not, I'm going to be aiming for around about 70 to 100 pounds secondhand and use on this. That's a fantastic find to find towards the end of the day. The last pickup. Very happy with that indeed. Again, do your research and double check the prices just to make sure that you don't, get misled so yeah some, some, some nice items that i picked up today i'm very happy gonna keep the store going can only apologize about the vibe uh, intermittently that i've given off but sometimes things need to be said at least to a degree you can't just sit back and let these things happen and go on it's out of order what i saw and i hope to never see it again um it wasn't aimed at me but it's not the point it's by the by Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me once again. I do appreciate every single one of you for joining me. This, 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 this just keeps me going. So um, thank you very much and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.